Hey guys, Nikolai here. Before we get started, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Pro Guides. Pro Guides is the easiest way to master League of Legends quickly and effectively. They're even backed by professional players and they have detailed courses for any concept you're struggling with. If you have any questions at all after watching a video, you can use Genius, where a master or challenger ranked player will immediately answer any questions you have. So make sure to check out Pro Guides with the link in the description and start learning and ranking up today. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. In the past, I have made a video about 5 celebrities who play League of Legends, which is kind of a list of people who you wouldn't expect to be playing League of Legends. But on the flip side, what about the people whose voices bring life to all the champions in the game? Do they play League of Legends? I recently came across this streamer called Elspeth, and in my first couple minutes in the stream, someone in the chat actually left a question asking if she was the voice for Tristana, and she actually said she was. The voice actor for Trist, yes! Yes, yes, yes! I am, uh, I am the voice actress for Tristana. In League of Legends. In that moment, she was actually playing Overwatch, so I was curious and left a question in chat asking if she plays League of Legends. You know, since she's the voice of Trist, and this is what she said. Do I enjoy playing League? I haven't played League in about a year. In about a year. It's been, it's been, it's been some time. Um, I much prefer Overwatch. Some people with the best names are also complete jerks. Vegas resident sleeper. I haven't. I really. Uh, it's. It's been some time since I've. Uh, since I popped in. Community too damn toxic. Of course, everyone is welcome to their own opinions. But that did get me thinking. Do any League of Legends voice actors play the game? In this video, we will be taking a look at many champions voice actors, checking if they play League, and along the way, we'll be looking at some quite interesting facts to do with the voice actors of League of Legends. Nevertheless, I'd like to get this started with Draven. When you think of a real life Draven, you might first think of this 6 foot 5 superhuman. But actually, it's this man, Eric Bra, who not only voices Draven, but Jax and Velkos as well. Because, well, maybe it's early to jump into fun facts territory, but a lot of champions in League actually share their voice with other champions. But anyway, in November of 2016, Eric didn't ask me anything on the League of Legends subreddit, and when questioned if he ever plays League of Legends, he said, I've played a little bit, I am really bad, it's a pretty steep learning curve. And honestly, this seems to be the general consensus. The voice actress for Ari said her husband played the game, but she seemed to show no sign of playing it herself. And the voice of, wait. Before we move on, while we're on the topic of Ari, I kind of want to talk to you about this. While researching for this video, I watched an interview with Laura Post, the voice of Ari, and at one point she said that there had to be two recording sessions for Ari because the first one was a little too sexy for the game. So, you know, so did the audition, it was very, you know, um, it's too late for mercy. And that's how Ari could have sounded, but they did another round when everyone was a little too sexy. <laughs> We're not sure we wanted to go that far. Right. Can you do another one? And they, you know, so same script, do something different. Now, perhaps the English version of League of Legends tried to tone down the sexual tones in the game, but the Korean version could not give a single f Emo. I'm going to go ahead and warn you, if you're not wearing headphones, lower your volume, this is how Korean Ari sounds. Hey guys, Thinking Face here. Originally Nikolai had 20 seconds of Korean Ari in this video, but we came to the conclusion that YouTube would not like that. Because it genuinely sounds like she is getting ganked by a very strong jungler. But don't worry. For those interested, full link is in the description. Well, moving on. The voice of Riven said she was playing the game in an interview in 2012, but it doesn't seem that she has been playing it since then. Started off playing Katarina, I was like, I don't like this, you know, one-on-one -on -one action jungling. The voice of Echo doesn't seem to be playing League either, but he does play Smash Bros. Also, I think it's time for a special fun fact of the day. 
Back in 2013, I was a very casual player of League of Legends, but I remember seeing the controversy that came about when Riot Games was releasing Lucian, which was going to be League of Legends' first black champion. And there was a little bit of outrage because Riot made the first black champion a champion who runs and shoots guns, which I totally can see where people were mad. But Lucian ended up being a fan favorite champion, so it's all fine. But did you know that all that outrage aside, his voice actor isn't even black? But hey, just in case you guys can't tell that I'm joking, this isn't that big of a deal, it's just kind of an interesting did you know moment. Oh, and yeah, Lucian's voice actor showed no public sign of playing the game either. Year and a half or two years, I've, I've hit that mark of I really want to play such and such. And I don't know what I'm going to get to. I'm going to play it in tiny little chunks because that's that's the days of marathon gaming are uh, they're over. Those days are gone. Unfortunately, most productive people try to stay away from the black hole, which is League of Legends. Just a quick rapid fire here, Ezreal doesn't play League, Zed doesn't play League, Jinx doesn't play, Lulu does play, shout out to Faye Mata, and also Garen, Evelyn, and Yasuo's voice actors show no sign of playing the game as well. But I'll stop there for now, cause I know what you're thinking. Nikolai, we don't care about these champions. We care about the best, the greatest, the strongest champion of all time. Does the voice of Teemo play League of Legends? League of Legends was released in September of 2009, with only 40 playable champions. One of these champions was Teemo, and from the very start, the source to Teemo's voice has been a mystery. Teemo has always been a fan favorite, but also at the same time, he has been one of the most hated champions in the game. Many people speculate that they kept the voice actor's identity secret for the safety of the voice actor and their family, and some even say that it's actually Satan himself. But no, really, no one knows who did Teemo's voice. And for all I know, the voice actor of Teemo probably does play this game. He's probably that guy that when you ask your team, hey, it's my promos, can we try our best this game? And he locks in Teemo, he builds AD, and he's Teemo. support by the way, and then you lose. And, but, but you don't get mad because you're like, oh, Teemo is such a cute little guy. So to answer the question, do League of Legends voice actors play the game? It definitely depends on the person, but in general, it does seem that the answer is no. A lot of voice actors are simply just voice actors, and although they're working on a video game, a lot of the times they won't ever actually play that video game. It can be just another job for them. Some people will do their lines and that's it. The voice of Shaco in an interview about League of Legends voice actors said, some folks don't even remember what champs they voiced. And as I explored more and more, I, I realized that this is just incredible. And I looked more into it and realized that this little game that, that we recorded four years ago has become a monster, you know. And uh, the fans are just incredible. I voiced, you know, over a hundred characters in my life in games and nothing comes close to the League of Legends champs. And I voiced some pretty big, big games. Um, and, you know, guys like Eric, he, he's, he was a game tester, so he was a little more on the uptake than, than the others, but a lot of folks didn't even remember what champs they voiced. And maybe some of you watching right now might be thinking I only researched a handful of champions, but I really looked into a lot of them. Even the most recent one I just looked at was Lux, and her voice actress on an Ask Me Anything said, oh my gosh, I am terrible at video games. But like I said, voice acting is a job. A lot of these voice actors voice a lot more than just League of Legends champions. I'm well known for voicing Illidan Stormrage in the World of Warcraft. Akihiko in the Persona series is a popular one for fans of Japanese games. Gara is the, the role that I've played for the show Naruto. So it's understandable if they're not invested in the game itself. But alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you liked what you saw and want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified 
when I post my next video. Special thanks again to Pro Guides for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. But most of all, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.